Hi, welcome to another edition of Marlon Technic TV. Tricky Math. Today we will have a new topic in math algebra problem. And our new topic is all about a coin problem. So, and our first example is Benito has some coins in his pocket consisting of dimes, nickels, and pennies. He has two more nickels than dimes and three times as many pennies as nickel. How many of each kind of coins does he have if the total value is 52 cents? How much penny more he need to earn to make it one dollar? So for three minutes and your timer starts now. there subscribe to my channel and also press this bell icon last 20 seconds last 10 seconds 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 so to answer this let's try to attack the second Question, since all the values are given in this uh, question, how much penny more he need to earn to make it one dollar? So, we must remember that one quarter is equal to 25 cents. Two quarter is equal to 50 cents. One dime is equal to 10 cents. One nickel is equal to 5 cents. And one penny is equal to one cent. So, Benito already has 52 cents in his pocket. So, he needs only 48 cents to make it $1. As 1 cent is equal to 1 penny. And 100 cents is equal to $1. And 48 cents is equal to 48 penny. So, therefore, Benito needs to earn 48 pennies more to make his money a total of one dollar so now let's go back to the question number one how many of each kind of coins does he have if the total value is 52 cents so now let's examine the problem so we are looking for the value for the number of dimes nickel and pennies in his pocket so let's examine again the problem so benito has some coins in his pocket consisting of dimes nickel and pennies but we don't know yet how many dimes, nickels, and pennies inside his pocket. But the problem says the total value is 52 cents. So the dimes, nickels, and pennies should account for a total value of 52 cents. And then the problem also mentioned that he has two more nickel than dimes. So for example, uh, if he has one dime, so you add plus 2 then he has 3 dimes so but in this problem it is unknown and the same for uh, the second problem is as is telling that 3 times as many pennies as nickels so if he has 1 nickels so multiply it by 3 that is the number of pennies but in this problem we don't know yet the exact value of the dimes nickels and penny so to answer this We are looking for the number of coins in Benito's pocket. So, we let x is equal to the number of dimes being the fewer. And then, x plus 2 is equal to the number of nickels. And then, 3 multiplied by x plus 2 is equal to the number of pennies. And, before I forgot, 52 cents is equal to the total money in his pocket. So, now that we have this... We have an equation. So, x plus x plus 2 plus 3 multiplied by x plus 2 is equal to 52. And then, 2x plus 2 plus 3 uh, multiplied by x plus 2. So, 3x plus 6 is equal to 52. So, therefore, 5x is equal to 52. Then, transfer uh, positive 6 to the other side. So, it will become negative 6. And then, transfer positive 2 to the other side. So, it will become negative 2. So, 5x is equal to 44. And then, divide both sides by 5. 
we will have 44 over 5. So, we have an improper fraction. So, we reduce it to the lo its lowest term. So, x is equal to uh, 8 and 4 over 5 times. And this is unfortunately a very wrong approach in the problem. So, why is it this one is wrong? Because if you see the value of x, which is equal to 8 and 4 over 5 dimes. So, you can have 8 dimes in your pocket, but 4 over 5 dimes, it is impossible. Because your 9th dime, you need to break it into 5 and then uh, remove the 1 part and then keep the 4 part, 4 over 5 part in your pocket, which is very impossible to do. Why? Because a dime is a coin. And you cannot break a coin into five pieces very easy. That Benito has five dimes, has eight over eight and four over five dimes in his pocket. So this is a very wrong approach of the problem. So this one is wrong. As you can see, a dime is a coin. See, see this one? A dime is a coin. So, this one is wrong approach of the problem. So, what is the correct solution? So, again, this is the, the correct solution. Number of coins. So, we let x is equal to the number of dimes. And then, x plus 2 is equal to the number of nickels. As the problem says, 2 more nickels than dimes. And then 3 multiplied by x plus 2 is equal to the number of pennies as the problem state 3 times as many pennies as nickels. And then 52 cents, the total money in his pocket. So as the problem says, uh, uh, the total value is 52 cents of the dimes, nickels, and pennies. But what we forgot to include is the value in cents. So, we must convert the dimes, nickel, and pennies into cents as being mentioned that the total money in his pocket is 52 cents. So, therefore, we will have uh, for the dimes since, di one, uh, since dimes is equal to 10 cents. So, we will have 10x is equal to the number of cents in dimes. And then x plus 2, number of nickel will become 5. x plus 5 multiplied by x plus 2 is equal to the number of cents in nickels. As the problem says that uh, nickel is equal to 5 cents. And 3 multiplied by x plus 2 is equal to the number of cents in pennies since... 1 penny is equal to 1 cents. And 52 cents is the total number in his pockets. Now that all the value are in cents, we can have our correct equation. And the correct equations are 10x plus 5 multiplied by x plus 2 plus 3. x plus 2 is equal to 52 cents because all of them are in cents now. So, therefore, combine like terms. So, 10x plus 5 multiplied by x is equal to 5x. 5 multiplied by 2 is equal to 10 plus 3 multiplied by x is equal to 3x plus 3 multiplied by 2 is equal to 6 and then which is equal to 52 cents. So, therefore, combine like terms. So, 10x plus 5x plus 3x is equal to 18x. And 10 plus 6 is equal to 16, which is equal to 52. And then, by transferring uh, 16 to uh, the other side, so we will have 18x is equal to 52 minus 16. And then, 18x is equal to 36. Then divide both sides by 18, we will have x is equal to 36 over 18, an improper fraction. Then 36 divided by 18, 
x is equal to 2 dimes. So, a whole number. So, this one is the correct answer. So, now, now that we know the value of x, which is 2 dimes, we can substitute it again to the number of coins equation. So, for the number of nickels in Benito's pocket, x plus 2, and then the value of x is 2. So, 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 nickels. And then, for number of pennies in Benito's pocket, 3 multiplied by x plus 2 is equal to 3. Then, substitute the value of x, which is 2. So, we will have 3 multiplied by 2 plus 2 is equal to 3 times 4, which is equal to 12 pennies. So, therefore, in Benito's pockets, there are dimes is equal to 2 pieces, nickel is equal to 4 pieces, and penny is equal to 12 pieces. And he need to earn 48 more pennies to have a money of one dollar so that is the correct answer so to check if our answer is correct for dime in cents so 2 multiplied by 10 is equal to 20 cents for nickel in cents 5 multiplied by 4 is equal to 20 cents and for penny in cents 12 times 1 is equal to 12 cents and then we add this all we will have a total value of 52 cents. So, therefore, our answer is correct. Mega Lab shout out and please do support my channel members, Free Technique member, Kumaring Pam. Free Technic member E. Kudaira Jonax Boy TV Free Technic member Sherilita Bakud Free Technic member Augusta East Channel Free Technic Member Celine G. Elliot Free Technic Member Sir Ray Vlog Free Technic Member OFW25 Lifestyle Fro Technic Member And Senorita Lara, Fro Technique member.